guys so today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for ages and I've actually done a video on this beforehand and I wasn't gonna make this video right now uh, but I thought well I'm recording and it's come to my mind and I thought well why not you know but that's why I haven't got the other camera set up normally I do kind of these vlogs but I haven't but anyway it's gonna be a short one I don't I'm not gonna go into loads of detail but you've already read the title and you already know it is about the Bristol bike takers um, now I didn't want to mention them at all but in the pictures I'm going to show you, uh, you, you you see their Instagram account so that's that and plus they don't actually exist anymore and they're what they do but they've got no posts because if you don't know what happened or you don't know the backstory anyway there was a bunch of lads uh, I, I don't know if there was any girls involved as well but we know there was a bunch of lads involved and for the past year or so I've been following their Instagram account because what they do is nick motorcycles around Bristol and then brag about it on social media that's literally what they do it pisses me off every single time and I, I said I've made a video about this before uh, about these fuckers and like yeah it really winds me up it really does it gets to me but recently they posted uh, a picture of them stealing a or they had stolen a 1951 uh, Triumph I've forgotten what it's called but an old classic of a guy and I, I read every single comment and they ended up holding it for ransom basically and said to the owner if you don't pay us thousand pounds we're gonna set it on fire the next post was them exactly doing that yep they set a 1951 motorcycle on fire and they recorded it as well now they were always like their, their thing was oh you don't know you can't prove it was us in that video doing it you know the whole no face no case and the fact that it can be two two completely different people like one person doing it and one person just owns the Instagram account because it's not illegal whatsoever to own that Instagram account and just share the posts as annoying as it is but finally finally something happened about it um, of what I've wanted to happen for so long and these fucking idiots got caught out they've nicked over like 500 motorcycles and they finally got caught out because of this because of them burning this bike that was the biggest mistake because they got the whole community pissed off and so many people went on a manhunt for these people and I have pictures which will be posted in this video of some of the group faces well most of them anyway of what I believe they all come from the same source or, or different sources but I got it from an account called Bristol Bike Takers Name and Shamed it will be linked down in the description I messaged him saying you know I've shared your your your, your posts because if it is legit this is some top, top notch shit that needs to be shared so I'm doing exactly that I'm sharing these guys information their Facebooks just random information about them so if you ever see them I think some of them have already been nicked but if you know of any of these idiots or like Oh, hey, Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook, if YouTube didn't demonetize my videos, I'd be swearing a hell of a lot more. But yeah, if you know any of these people, you best rat them in quick because it'll be so much better off for them for the police to get hold of them because they'll get a tiny sentence. And they know it. They know they won't get a massive sentence. But if one of these people that have been commenting or even a Hell's Angel, if a Hell's Angel got hold of these fucking idiots which is very possible the amount of people that have seen this triumph being burned and getting pissed off about it you piss off a hell's angel mate you're in for a real fucking shit day so hopefully they i'm hoping they get caught by one of these people they will actually they get what they deserve instead of like a two month community sentence or something bullshit if it was up to me i'd go back to the old days because the, the robberies in London and Bristol and all these big cities of moped thieves throwing acid in people's faces and all this. It is, it's an out of control situation we're in now and we can't control it. The police can't control it. 
and I think the only way we're gonna ever stop this now is to put in some harsh harsh punishment and you might think oh they're only nicking a bike that is not just nicking a bike they're nicking phones they're throwing acid in people's faces ruining their life forever they are threatening people with hammers knives machetes it is it is almost third world country I know how bad that sounds and I'm not being racist or anything like that but you know you hear a lot about that in third world countries and that's what's happening in London you know our capital of UK it's fucking dumb so what I would do is I would fucking chop the fucking hands off that would be my punishment because I'd like to see them fucking rob some fucking bikes then with no fucking hands and don't give them disability allowance for fucking because of it it's your fucking problem that you fucking decided to nick a bike and you know you knew that was the consequences we need to be the, the the courts need to be more harsh on them so my camera just died so i really quickly want to say what i wanted to say here is all the information you'll ever need uh i have everything down in the description and everything all about that so you know if you do ever see any of these idiots make sure you let me know and i'll spread the info we've got their their info now so they fucked up but guys thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace